still point in motion, that point of balance. Having always had access to the unbroken horizon, um, it's always had a constant form of personal reference. There's something reassuring, yet expanding. It really does feel like um, a bit, bit of a voyage when I go out to paint. I go on a bit of a journey. I think a lot of painters or even makers would identify with that feeling of going somewhere else when you're in deep in a creative process. Painting creates a stillness out of motion. Um, a suspended animation, if you like, in paint. I'm harnessing, capturing elemental shifts, the waves, the light, I guess even the emotions or passing thoughts. They all kind of get embedded in the work or in the, the substance of paint. The earth. It's quite grounding. And then quite calming and again creates that stillness. This is my third studio in Port Leven. Um, and every one has had a view of the sea. In January 2021, I ritualistically painted the view of the horizon from my studio every day. And that really initiated a developing discipline informed by familiarity to the subject along with the ranges of colour palette that accompanied each day or even each moment, the choice of tool, brushes, palette knives, my hands, even down to the surface I used or chose or prepared, all was underpinned by regular observation and regular presence. Whether you're painting the sea or the actual horizon or not, the placement of that single vanishing point, that single line, the horizon line, is incredibly important in the rule of thirds and in the rudiments of creating a painting. We need it for perspective. So I find that quite interesting on a human level, that to feel balanced, we need that point of reference, we need that horizon line, that vanishing point. It's also been researched that on a primordial level, seeing an unbroken horizon will induce a state of calm because when you could see any potential threat, 
the vision was clear. So I wonder whether that kind of is something that I'm responding to. There's something compelling about the idea of Horizon, the idea of a journey, the arrival, the departure. It seems to have quite a lot of significance, as well as the meeting of the elements, the sky, the sun, the sea, the land. There's so many phrases of broadening your horizons, expansion above, below, you have space. The unknown, I guess, it's the unknown of what's over the horizon. The horizon point always stays the same, but it's constantly changing. From that polarity that I get a sense of equilibrium. Mm -hmm.